What's in a brick? Doesn't look like much, but much can be done with a brick. This simple support, this modest material. A brick is a building block. Its value is found not in its makeup or appearance, not in its individual distinction or excellence, but in its ability to be built upon. A brick's greatest quality is its usefulness, and no brick is of much use alone. Bring bricks together, and these common objects find collective purpose. Build a wall, build a prison, build a path, build a bridge, build a shelter, build an altar. Everything great was built the same way. Brick by brick, stone by stone, piece by piece, person by person. I was neglecting my first responsibility and my first role, which is my family. You know, I was going out, I was drinking heavy, I was coming home late. I justified it by, you know, saying that I needed to network with peers and colleagues in order for me to be relevant. Um, and, you know, I knew it wasn't true. I knew that if I continued down that path that I would lose my family. At one point I did feel I was gonna lose my family. And I remember at one time just praying and saying, Lord, I just pray that my, my husband understands um, the, the big picture behind it. And he understands that, um, that there's so much more. I told my dad about Boo Church, and he was like, oh, I don't know, we'll go. And so we gave it a shot, and we loved it. We came on a Sunday and never left. So when I came to Vu, I realized um, two things, the message of Jesus and the relationship of, of, of service increasing my relationship with God through service. I didn't know what that meant before. It, it, it's just been life-changing for me. I recognize that, you know, going to church is my commitment to God, but going to crew became my community, which I could really honor and uphold that commitment. So I started going to crew, and now I lead a crew. I still can't believe that. Serving is important for me. It's a way to translate or I guess give back what God has given me. It allowed me to like start building relationships and getting to know people in a way that now looking back for years, I think like, wow, these people are still in my life. I want my story to be about how um, even in the times when um, I feel that I'm by myself and I'm really not, that I'm never really alone and that God is there with me and that it's enough. When we look back on the last four years, we are simply amazed by all that God has done. Hundreds of VU crews, two locations, multiple services. It's crazy to see that some 5,000 people show up every weekend now calling VU Church home. Yet I'm not ever concerned with the speed of our growth. I'm always concerned with the strength of our growth. That's why this year we feel like the Lord is speaking to us that we're to grow brick by brick. You know, I love the idea that Peter calls us living stones. When you think about it, it that's what we are, like, you and I are just bricks in God's kingdom. Alone, we're insignificant, but together, we're a strong tower. I think over and over again, the scriptures are asking you and I to lay down our lives, to serve one another, to serve the kingdom. And when we do, we get to be a part of something so much bigger than ourselves. As I think over the last four years, there are too many memories to recount but some of the ones that stand out in my mind. Baptizing over 260 people in the rain this past year, celebrating the 10-year anniversary of VU Conference, having our first graduating class of VU College. I think about launching our second location. I think about expanding all the offerings of VU Care on Tuesday night. I think about families being certified to foster children right here in our city. God's doing more if we'll awaken to it. He wants to do so much more if we'll keep trusting Him together. 
We're not just building for the here and now. We're building for the next generation. We stand on the shoulders of the last generation, so many generations before us, to blaze a trail that the world has never seen before. Sure, it takes sacrifice. But name me something better that's worth sacrificing for. God is in control, but friends, you and I, we have a role to play, and it's brick by brick. I believe that we are moving forward. I believe the best is yet to come. I believe the future is bright. I believe that we're building a life-giving church. I believe that we're actually changing the world brick by brick. Honestly, I feel like I never had a vision for my life until boo. I feel like I was going through life like not knowing what I was going, but now I feel like I do have a purpose. God is gonna work in your life no matter what. So I just said, keep coming back, man, we're here for you. Well, immediately our, our marriage changed. I mean, our whole family dynamic changed. I mean, our direction changed completely. I mean, it was a complete 180 from where we were going. Crews were huge for me. It was nice to be around people who were struggling too, and you know, who were going uh, through similar situations. Food church just, it makes it easier to do life with people because there's people alongside of you saying that you're not alone, that you're not doing this by yourself. We lead our own VU crew. We uh, facilitate Simbis for other married couples. Um, I help in growth track. My kids are both serving on VU kids and my wife serves on VU kids. We're all serving together, building God's kingdom. It's the builder's vision that brings the brick's value. It's the mastery of the mason that reveals the beauty of the brick. God is the builder, and we are the building, bride, and body. We're not over the house. We're in it. Every day, every interaction, and every responsibility is an opportunity to build brick by brick. So, what's in a brick? Maybe nothing. Maybe anything. You never know until you lay it down. What could God build with us? <laughs>